Yeah, so I don't know about any of you lot who've got the Mavic 2. The Mavic Air 2, should I say. But recently, I've had it now since release day. Um, recently, I've noticed that... I don't know if it's just me or not. Just let me know. But I've noticed that the signal has been dropping a hell of a lot more than it was when I first got it. Like, a few times now I've, t I've taken it maybe a couple of kilometres. And it's just dropping straight off the reception. So... I don't know if there's been an update and they've reduced it or what, or, or whether it's just me, I'm in one of them heavy, um, you know, Wi-Fi areas where there's quite a lot of noise, but I don't know, I've just been quite disappointed with the range, um, and I've noticed recently that there's um, an FCC, that's my driver's card coming out, uh, noticed that there's an FCC hack for the iPhone, and there's not one come out for the Android yet, and I use the S20, so... I'm still waiting on that. That's just a modded version of the app. Um, apparently it's chargeable, 20 quid, 20 quid a year, and then you've got to pay a fiver for the updates or something. I'll try and find that video and link it in the description, but I am actually waiting myself for something to come out, and then I'm going to do a video on it and how to change it to FCC. But like I said, I've just been pretty disappointed with the range, um, and I've been sent by my company to um, Conway in Wales, and these guys are still on lockdown, so I brought my drone. Not that that, you know, not that I needed an excuse. But I'm living in my wagon at the minute, which is decent. Um, I actually, to be fair, I actually enjoy doing it. Gets me away for a bit. Gets me out the house. Um, gets me away from Manchester for a bit. So lockdown or not, we've got the drone, and um, I've had an idea. I just want to test this range, and then. Hopefully, when we get this FCC hack working, I'm gonna. Um, someone down there, decent. Um, I'm gonna give it a proper go and compare the two distances from the exact same place. I'm not gonna put it into one video though, because I don't know how long it's gonna be for this working hack. But I'm gonna show you now where, well, the direction I plan on going. Um, and I'm in a Wi Fi area as such, but not like massively. You know, I'm in Wales. I think they're still on dial up here, aren't they? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll just quickly show you. Um, you know, I don't look like I've got a black eye. I've just had a shower. I think it's just a light. I've not got a black eye. Well, I am pretty tired. I'm sleeping in the van, decent. So yeah, if you have a look there now, and I'm um, parked up at the top of the valley. I think that's Land Udno, that island there. Um, I'm not sure how far it is, but my plan, I mean, you can see all these houses here, so this is the Wi-Fi I was talking about. I could go down to the coast and do it from there, but too laser. So I'm going to take the drone off and I'm going to fly in that direction. Seagulls everywhere. Um, so obviously one of them is probably going to take it out of the sky when it's in the middle of the ocean. Not asked, got to be honest. Um, and yeah, we're going to give it a go, see how far it'll go. And then, like I said, I'll bring it back and try it in FCC mode when it comes available. So let's see what happens. <clears throat> right, so I'm just going to say this to you as a little tip before I take it off. Decent. Um, these, right, these propellers are the original DJI ones. I've actually brought some aftermarket ones, but I recommend when you before you take off every flight, right? And they say this, and you think, oh, you know, whatever. But honestly, right? This comes from experience. You, you click them down, and then you can turn them, and then they come off, right? Before you fly, every time, just grab the base of that, and then give that top part a twirl. Can I cut there? That's all right, isn't it? Um, and then give the top part a twist and make sure that, you know, you can feel it latched in. Um, because it happened to me once where I brought the drone back, landed it, and no word of a lie, a propeller flew off as I was landing it. Like, I landed it, and as it was as it was closing down, it slowed, the motor speed slowed down, and it just come flying off because it weren't on properly. So that could have happened mid-flight. I could have lost the drone. So just... Like I said, I got lucky. Just check them every single time um, that they're in properly else. That's good as well, isn't it? Do you like that? Made that today. 
bored out of my mind. Paracord. Yeah. Because I've bought 100 metres of paracord. And I've been making these as well. This is going to be a future video, by the way. This. This here. I've got a little kit. If anyone can tell me what that is for a future camping video, I might send you some chinchilla gravy. Um, that's going to be coming up in a future camping trip. I made that uh, a couple of days ago. And we're going to go from here. We've got 10 satellites. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. There's just birds everywhere, like absolutely like starlings and, and birds, you know, that don't appreciate having a drone flying around there. My biggest worry that. Right, so we're heading that way. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that this drone isn't going to go anywhere near what I'm expecting, but full tilt. Let's go. Full tilt, 94% battery. And I, I am facing the drone. I'm just going to come round my truck here. I'm actually, I can actually see the drone where I'm heading. Um, there's just something that proper unnerves me about flying over water. Um, but, you know, I've got perfect line of sight. This signal. The only thing that I can see there being an issue with getting over there is... Um, the Wi-Fi signal in between me and the drone now, like so people's houses where they've got Wi-Fi and they've got all sorts of stuff um, in their houses. That's the only thing that's going to break the signal because we're going over water. Um, I've no idea how far this is, but I'm going to double check that. Doesn't seem too windy. But then again, I don't know what it's like over there. Seems to be pushing me off a little bit to the to the right. I'm just going to go until the signal goes. Um, I mean, look at it already. I mean, this could be the Wi-Fi signals getting in the way. I'm what? I'm not even a mile out. And it's already dropping, you can see it in the right hand corner. Um, maybe it's the area, so I don't want to jump the gun too much, but uh, it's come back there now. But you mean it's not good. I mean, a mile away, this thing's rated at what? Seven kilometres. I think it's six kilometres over here. Um, four miles that we get in the CE mode. But still, like, you know, I think that Land Udno over there, that might be maybe what three miles as a guess maybe four i don't know that's just a, a blatant guess um we're a mile away now um and i'll just i'll just push it until until it runs out of signal and then it comes back itself i'm just like i said i've just noticed it more and more recently and i don't know whether it's just me or but I know this, the SCC mode that they boasted about is so much better than what we get over here in Europe. And obviously the last thing I want to be doing as well is running out of signal. Uh, not running out of signal, running out of battery over the ocean. I've seen loads of people do that. I've not even checked the wind to be honest with you, so there's a schoolboy error. But it, I mean, what we're doing, we're doing 26 miles an hour out. Um... six miles an hour if we can get that coming back i can set the battery down to about maybe i'm going to play it safe i'm going to set the battery down to about maybe 55 percent oh until the signal breaks but i'm in normal mode my thumbs full throttle forward i mean i could bang it in sport but I don't know. I'll take it up maybe a little bit just to get a bit better signal if I can. We're down to two bars already. Not even two miles out yet. I mean, clearly, you know, Wi Fi and noise and signals like that are going to make a massive difference to how far you can get it, but still, you'd expect a little bit more, especially where I am. I mean, I've just shown you.
I've just got this weird feeling that I'm going to lose my drone today. I don't know why. Just over two miles now. Oh my god. I had to just decline her then, it's decent. Every time, every time I do a screen recording, someone phones me. You know, one of my biggest worries is having like a battery malfunction in the middle of the ocean like this because literally DJI care refresh or not you lose that drone you're not getting one back unless you can sort of prove that it was you know a fault of the um, of DJI itself You always got to remember, you know, you get excited flying it out and seeing how far you can get it, seeing how I lose your signal here. Just come up if I can. Slightly adjusted my position. And then I'm going to try and raise it, raise it up a little bit. Let's go over 300 feet. There we go, we're losing it, we're losing her, we're losing her. Come up more, come up more. You've always got to remember that you've got to come back. Getting up on the three mile mark now. Touch three mile. Maybe it was about what five mile to the island. I'm not going to let it go below 60% battery either, just in case the wind's bad. Um, low battery now that's just giving me the warning if we've got bad wind coming back then I'm not going to get it back I can guarantee it if we've got a, a headwind it's a game set and match that's as far as I'm willing to go I'm turning around I've lost, I've lost signal as well. There we go. Let me just see. Right. I'm just going to bang it into sport mode. Battery level is low. Can the aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. Ah, we're making good time coming back. Double the speed. We're going to get it back in good uh, stead. But that's a beautiful view. Look at that there. Clouds over uh, Conway where we are. Oh, we did about three and a half mile. I'm happy with that. Um, just have a look. Um, what was that? Three and a half. So I'm reckoning that's that is probably about five miles just over um, from where I am. Maybe we'll get into Pen Paran, Paran, wherever that is, to the right there, um, and do it from there next time. But I'm actually happy with that for range. To be fair, I mean, it's not that bad. I'm, de I'm definitely going to get the drone back as long as there's no problems and um, yeah but I'm glad I'm recording this this is gorgeous let me just uh, change make it a little bit brighter the screen so we can see what that in I might even take some pictures on the way back in I like the way them clouds are just coming over the tops of the hills. 
but yeah, we're doing 42, 43 mile an hour back, so we'll get back in half the time. Battery's going to be fine. I mean, I was losing signal as you could see, but I'm, you know, I'm happy with that pushing it. There's a little test. I mean, maybe it was just me, I don't know, but I feel like I'm getting to the point now where I've been using the drone for so long, I'm, I'm actually... I mean, not even doing range tests, it's more about when you're in a built-up area and you're losing signal half a mile away, you know, or you know half a kilometre away, you go behind the building and it just drops. And it's like it's stuff like that when you're trying to get a shot of the building that's pretty, you know, it's pretty annoying. And you know that it won't do it in the FCC mode. Um, see that seagull then? That would have been all right, wouldn't it? I'm hoping that seagulls can't fly at this speed. About a mile and a half away now, just under. I'm gonna start bringing it down. There she is. And that's it. Back just as the battery was telling me that it had had enough. Well, giving me the warnings anyway, 30%. I like to get my batteries back around that. 20, 30%, get them charged, see some health yeah, what's that?